my top five pre-spawn lures since it's getting close to that springtime where the bass are going to start schooling up and getting bigger. So let's get started. <laughs> Number five, I have a, this is a Stanley Jig. And then I have for my trailer, I have the Ridgetail Space Monkey. I actually got this in my tackle grab and it's been working real well for me. So I added it on the spinnerbait and they were the, or on a jig and they were the perfect combo. And then this jig also has rattles to help attract more bass. I might add some scent or that onto it. I'll just throw it in or pitch it in, let it sit and just twitch the rod and I'll usually get most of my largest bass on a jig. For number four, I have a Stanley Viber Wedge white spinnerbait. These usually work real well if I just slow roll it along the bottom and sometimes I might add a little grub trailer or some other sort of craw bait and just slow roll the bait along the bottom if I have clear waters. Number three, I have the Strike King square bill crankbait. You guys probably all have seen this by now. I have crawfish colors because there's a lot of crawfish in my lake. And then what I'll usually use is a crawfish smelly jelly to help make it smell better. For the bass, it'll get them following the bait in and that'll help be a good search bait for me. And I also use this bait as a search bait as well. Now we're on to uh, number two, which is, uh, it was hard to choose this one in between the number one bait and number two, but I have a black and blue Yum Digger. These are uh, only four inches because my the bass in my lake they're more mostly smallmouth, so they won't go after those huge baits. But I really like to use a five -aught wide gap hook. I might wig it racky, or I might just do a normal Texas wig rig if I'm close to the grass and rocks. This usually works really well when the water's cold. And then I also use black and blue for when the water starts getting more stained and muddy. Because where I live, it rains a lot in the springtime, which stirs up the water. Now, for my number one bait, it is the Z-Man Chatterbait. I really like this bait because I can actually, it gives me confidence feeling all the vibration in the water. I also can cast it real far, and I use it as a search bait because I'll get lots of strikes. And I have a the white trailer that comes with it on there. I might try a space monkey or something like that on it, but chartreuse for when the water gets clear. And then uh, I usually like to trim the skirt, make it a little smaller bait, and that usually helps me get even more bites. And then usually after I get some strikes on there, I'll throw it in the exact spot and use the yum dinger again, just let it sit there and let the bass bite. Well, those have been my top five pre-spawn lures. I hope that helps you out in catching fish in this best bass period season. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been Bassman Price. Until next time.